Whether you're creating YouTube videos or you're fragging online with your friends in the latest team-based first-person shooter, audio quality really is super important because nobody's going to want to listen to your video if it sounds like marbles going through a meat grinder. And, of course, if they can't hear your callouts, well, then they just get shot in the back, which is just super, super frustrating, and nobody wants that. Now, if you have one of those high-grade gaming headsets, generally the microphone isn't the best quality. The, the can sound all right, but the microphone really isn't that great. Or maybe, maybe you have a really nice pair of Audio-Technicas and you want to add a microphone to it. That is where the Mod Mic 4 comes into play. Now, I was super skeptical about this from the beginning because generally the small little microphones you have for your headsets aren't really all that great of quality. Um, so I had them send me one of their products to take a look at it. They come in two flavors. This is the omnidirectional microphone, uh, which means that it captures sound from everywhere around it. However, it has just a little bit better sound quality. Um, the second one is you can get a unidirectional microphone, which only captures sound directly in front of it. However, it's not quite as good for recording. So, so we're giving this one a shot. This is the omnidirectional one. It has a frequency response of 30 hertz to 17.5 kilohertz, which really captures a lot of the lows and the highs and really is kind of what you're looking for. It is a dynamic mic, by the way, so you don't need any phantom voltage or anything as well. It has a sensitivity of negative 26 decibels, uh, which means that it's not really going to catch too much of your background or your surroundings, which really is what you want. Um, however, it only has a signal to noise ratio of about 58 decibels, which means that you still get a little bit of that kind of hum in it. You, you might be able to hear a little bit because we're using this to record, but there's just a, a little bit of a hum in the background, which if you're using a VoIP program that has a noise gate, that's not really an issue. If you're using it to record, it's really easy to take out with the noise removal. So it's not really an issue, but I would have liked that to be a little bit higher. It does have a max SPL of 110 decibels, which means you can get fairly loud with it without clipping, which is always good, especially if you get shot in the back and Counter-Strike and you yell at your teammates or something. Not that that happens a lot or anything. Um, it does come with a 3.5 millimeter tip ring sleeve, which is a gold plated jack, which works well with Windows and Linux. It does work with Mac but you will need an additional USB adapter, which you can get on their site. And you can also use it with the PlayStation 4, the Xbox One, and the Wii U, but you need to get a Y adapter with a TRRS to CTIA adapter to it. Um, you can also use it with an audio interface if you would like, but you will need a 3.5 millimeter to XLR adapter and make sure not to put on phantom power or else you'll, you'll fry your microphone and you, you really don't want that. Now, it does come with a really, really nice carrying case. Um, inside you get, of course, the microphone. Um, you get two magnetic bases that you can attach to your headset. And these bases, they have these little teeth on them, which is really cool because you can kind of flip it up and flip it down if you, want, if you don't want it directly in front of you at all times. Also comes with an extra 3M pad to uh, to mount it in case the one that you have gets all dirty or grungy. And it comes with an alcohol wipe to wipe down the surface that you're attaching it to. Make sure it's very clean. Very important. I didn't the first time and it kept falling off, which is the second problem I had. Now it seems pretty pretty good. It's not like it's gonna fall off or anything. It's it's on there pretty tight. You can jostle around and you might be able to hear the cords and stuff. Um, speaking of which, it comes with five cable clips that you can clip your microphone cable to your headset cable so you don't have two of them, which is really, really nice. That's a really good touch. Um, the one that I got also has a mute button, which is a, a good about eight inches, six to eight inches away, uh, which is right where you want so you can mute it here. Uh, very, very nice as well. It comes with a foam pop filter slash kind of windscreen thing on it, which is important if it's right in front of your mouth so you don't get those plosives, that wind right there. Um, I'm sure you're probably not gonna be using this outside too much, so the, the windscreen, not so much of an issue, but the plosives, definitely, definitely good. And of course, it comes with instructions on how to mount it as well. You kinda wanna mount it a little bit down as an angle. It has this kind of 
flexible little thing here that you can flex it to wherever you want, which is really nice. And then of course, if you look at the side there, it's got this little extra loop there um, so that it doesn't get caught and stuff. But overall, I'm really, really impressed with it. Um, it has a better sound quality than I would have imagined for such a small diameter microphone. Like I said, this is a dynamic, which generally doesn't have as good of a sound quality as like a condenser microphone, um, but they're also a lot less sensitive, which means that they won't pick up you like clicking on your, your keyboard or anything like that. So overall, I'm really, really happy with it. Um, if you get it without the mute, it's like uh, $42.95, I believe. If you get it with the mute, I believe they're $49.95, uh, which puts it right in that like blue snowball range. It has a very, very kind of similar sound to my blue snowball. And of course, not everyone wants to have a microphone that's about half the size of their head directly in front of them. So if you're looking for something else, if you're looking for a different way to have your microphone if you want if you prefer the uh the microphone right in front of you or the headset style this really is a great product i was i was actually really surprised with it um in fact i might actually use it to record uh for a lot of things now i'm gonna use my my blue spark for a lot of it but i could really see me using this to record because honestly you guys have been hearing it for the last few minutes it sounds really quite good especially for a 50 dollars microphone um, but that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. Um, let me know if this is something that you guys would like. I left a, a link down below so you could check it out for yourself. Thanks to the guys over at Ant Lion Audio for agreeing to send me one to try out. Um, that's pretty much it. And I will see you guys in the next episode.